Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to make a video showing our Moon Lord farm utilizing lower tiered gear. And this is mainly in response to uh, a few comments that I was receiving about how I was doing the Moon Lord fight and showing off the Moon Lord farm in gear that's only obtainable by killing the Moon Lord. I, they're, and they're right, uh, what I was doing was I was more focused on showing off the farm than I was concerned about showing off the gear. You can do this in lower tiered gear and that's what we're going to do today. As you can see, I am running with the Shroomite mask uh, and the rest of the Shroomite armor. I am using the chain gun from the, uh, the Frost Moon event. Uh, all, this is all pre 1.3 gear. Uh, we are using the Obsidian Rose. This is pretty much mandatory for this farm. You want uh, this because it reduces the damage from touching lava. Running with the Celestial Shell. I like running with the Ankh Shield because it uh, makes you immune to knockback. You can also do the grappling trick. I just prefer the Ankh Shield. It's a set it and forget it type accessory for me. We have our Sniper Scope our Destroyer Emblem, and the Star Veil. Uh, the Cross Necklace also works here. What we're trying to do is increase our time frame of invincibility frames. And we have our Heart Farm. I like using a Heart Reach Potion so I can get those extra little hearts that I would miss otherwise. And that's pretty much it, guys. In case you, uh, in case you missed the other videos about building the farm, uh, I'm not in the lava at all. That's a really stupid move on my part. So yeah, we're starting off at a <laughs> disadvantage here. Okay. Yeah, in case you uh, missed the other videos, guys, the bubbles surrounding the two liquids there are bubble blocks. You can get them from the party girl uh, that is after, uh, after the wall of flesh in hard mode. And the honey next to the lava cancels out the on-fire debuff. The uh, on-fire debuff it just adds a little bit of extra damage, but the honey acts like a liquid and it cancels it out. Which is pretty beneficial and also provides us a, a source of regeneration. As you can see here, other than the uh, heart reach potion that I just activated, I have no buffs on whatsoever. Just our uh, regeneration buffs from our, from our farm. The farm itself is pumping out 60 hearts worth of health every 10 or so seconds to keep us topped off as we slowly burn down the Moon Lord with our pre 1.3 gear the farm itself is going to be doing most of the work for you guys uh, the, your gear doesn't matter and that's what this video is here to show your if you have pre Moon Lord gear it is no problem no problem this this farm is going to help you out greatly Back to the bubble blocks, guys. The uh, reason why we use these bubble blocks is you can shoot through them, you can walk through them, but they hold liquid, and that is uh, that's very important. And the reason why we have the wooden platforms here instead of using solid bricks is so we can shoot through them when we need to shoot at the Moon Lord's core or its heart. Uh, that's very important. If we had something blocking our bullets or our magic spells, it would make killing him much more difficult. I believe that covers all the, the basic stuff about the farm. As we continue to wail away at him. If you guys are feeling uncomfortable about your level of defense in the Shroomite armor, I am at 71 right now. Yeah, no, I don't have the Dryad buff. I'm at 71, no, 63, I'm sorry. I guess I did have the Dryad buff from my uh, little house beneath me here. Uh, yeah, it's back at 71, so I have to have the Dryad buff. I don't know. It keeps coming and going. I don't know what she's doing. But uh, if you're worried about your defense, you can use an Iron Skin Potion that adds 8 defense. Uh, run with an Endurance Potion. You can use potions to help you out, but I wanted to run with the bare minimum again to show you guys that it's not necessary. You don't need it. Just whatever you feel comfortable with. I want you guys to play how you want to play and have fun. I don't want you to feel like you have to use 
anything other than those two specific accessories, the obsidian rose and the star veil or cross necklace uh, for this farm. I mean, you, you wear whatever you want, play however you want. That's the point of, of, this, of this farm and me making the updated videos to it as well. With the knowledge of the community, I was able to improve on the farm and make it easier. The original idea is you had to stack defense and basically roll and beetle armor only and or solar flare armor and I didn't want that. I didn't want to play like that and I don't want you guys to feel like you have to play a certain way either. And as I'm rambling on, he's almost dead here. And there it is guys. Uh, we're in pre Moon Lord gear and we have successfully used the farm to defeat the Moon Lord. I hope this video helps. I hope you guys like it. Uh, don't forget that thumbs up and subscribe, and you guys have a great day.